Hello and welcome to my channel Mr Galat. Today I'm back to do another pick a card reading and this time for the month of September. During September we have the autumn equinox if you are in the northern hemisphere or the spring equinox if you are in the southern hemisphere so we are so there will be a changing of energies a new season approaching this month and usually during the autumn season we are focusing on letting go of what we no longer need and practicing gratitude for what we already have and if you are in the southern hemisphere you may be looking at planning ahead and setting new goals so we'll take a look at the energies for this month ahead and if you need to pick a card readings take a look at the three piles of cards and see which one you feel drawn to and then you can skip ahead to your reading and I'll leave the timestamps in the description if you like to use crystals to help you make your choice I'll put some crystals on the cards now Pile one, we've got, I think this is orange agate. Pile two, we've got red jasper. And for pile three, we've got citrine. And I'll give you a moment to make your choice and then you can skip ahead to your weeding. So starting off with the Empress, and the Empress can represent creativity, abundance, and the Empress is especially fitting for autumn, the harvest season. And I feel that many of you are going to be reaping the rewards of your hard work. I feel that the last six months have been a struggle, you've been working hard, and I feel like things are starting to pay off for you this month. You're starting to see the benefits of your hard work with the Ace of Pentacles as well. I am seeing more abundance, I'm seeing a new start for you. I feel that you are going to be offered something new, there's going to be a new opportunity for you and you're feeling more focused this month because I feel that recently you've been quite distracted in the last few months. You find it difficult to focus on anything and this month I feel like there's a new goal for you to work towards and I feel that was hard work you've been doing is going to help you with this and spirit are guiding you to open up to abundance they're saying to know your worth i feel that you will be more inspired this month as well there's more ideas and you you start you feel like you've got a more solid goal this month a more solid plan that you're working towards and spirit are guiding you to nurture your goals nurture yourself i feel that some of you may be struggling with confidence this month. You may feel that you're not worthy of this success or of this abundance that's coming. And I feel some of you are struggling with your confidence at the moment, so this may cause a, a problem with attracting the abundance. You may feel that you're not worthy of it to start with. So I feel it's important to nurture yourself and to be kind to yourself this month, but also nurture your goals. Um, with anything that we want to grow, we've got to nurture them, care for them. Because if you are struggling with a lack of confidence, this may make it difficult for you to um, work on your goals because you may not feel worthy of it. So I feel it's important for you to work on developing your confidence more this month and nurturing yourself. You are being guided to get into nature more as well because I feel that the, you've got a lot of built emotions from the last few months and you are being guided to get into nature to ground yourself and to release these emotions because I feel like you need a change of scenery to help you with releasing these emotions. With the Seven of Swords here I feel like there's someone in your life that is not trustworthy or someone coming into your life that is not trustworthy and Spirit of God you need to listen to your intuition because I feel like there may be someone this month who doesn't really have your best interests at heart. At first it may seem on the surface that they're trying to do something good for you um, but Spirit is saying that you will know intuitively whether you can trust this person. Because this person's offering you something good you may ignore your intuition and you may feel that you've got to accept this offer but Spirit is saying to not focus on lack. Spirit again you to listen to your intuition and to walk away because there will be a better opportunities for you. Don't focus on lack. Some of you may be worrying that you're not going to attract anything better. You may feel that this is the best offer. 
And Spirit is saying don't focus on lack. They're saying to be open to abundance and to know that something better is coming for you. You don't have to go down this route. Because I feel this person has false promises. This person is not who they say they are. Spirit is also guiding you to be careful of gossipers as well. I feel that they may be some people around you who are being dishonest and, and gossiping, passing on um, information. Be careful of who you talk to about your goals and your ambitions because while most people are supportive of you, I feel there are some people who are jealous or may want to sabotage you so be careful of who you speak to and who you give your information to and try and protect yourself more this month. I feel that it is important for you to protect your energy because I feel that there's a lot of energy for growth, there's abundance coming to you. But with the abundance that's coming to you, this will also attract jealousy. So make sure that you so make sure that you protect your energy and make sure that you walk away from anyone that you feel un uneasy around. And with the Ace of Pentacles, again this is a new opportunity coming for you. And I feel there is a good focus, and I feel there's a focus on money and career this month. Um, I feel if you've been worrying about these areas, then this is a good sign for you because there is going to be more abundance, there's going to be opportunities. You may hear about more opportunities that suits your needs, you may receive more money, um, or you may feel that you're on the right track now. You can see that abundance is coming to you. It may be that you've got a new business idea and you, you can see that there is going to be money coming to you or it may be you may be that you are offered a new opportunity but you're starting to feel more positive now about the future and you are going to be feeling more inspired this month as well so I feel like it's important to write down your ideas uh, or you may receive more contacts more information so I just keep seeing writing things down it's important that you write things down keep a note because I feel like there's more movement this month. I'm going to pull some more cards now. So we've got the 10th house reputation. So this is a focus on career and your reputation, responsibilities, achievement. There's going to be some sense, there's going to be a recognition or sense of achievement this month. I feel that other people are noticing that you're working hard, other people are noticing your ideas, and you are attracting more attention. And I feel that there is going to be some movement in your career or something that you're working on during this month. And this is making you feel a sense of success and also a sense of hope for the future because success is measured in different ways. Success is not just about finances but about our how we feel about ourselves, our fulfillment and I feel that there is going to be a, a sense of fulfillment this month and movement in, in your career. I feel that you are going to be attracting more like-minded people who will be able to help you with your goals. And then with this card, there's, this, this card is about destiny and purpose, so I feel that for many of you, you may be feeling a sense of purpose this month. And you may be reflecting more on your purpose, thinking about what your future and what your purpose is, and you may feel more inspired, you may feel more fulfilled in the work that you're doing, and this is giving you a sense of purpose. I also feel like you're giving hope to other people as well. As you're feeling more positive about the future, you are inspiring other people, you're making them feel more positive as well. But while it is important to take time to appreciate our successes, I also feel that you need to keep going as well. You need to keep you need to stay focused on your goals. Don't lose track this month just as things are starting to improve for you. We've got upliftment here. So this is a very positive card. There's a lot of positive energy coming in. You're moving upwards. You're seeing more growth this month. Also, I feel that there is going to be some dream healing as well. I feel that during your dreams, 
and also meditations there's lots of healing and messages coming to you and this one you may notice a, a change in your sleeping patterns but i feel like there's a lot of healing that's going on while you're sleeping and you may wake up with you may wake up remembering some vivid dreams um, so I feel like there's a lot of clearing and healing going on. Also, I feel this is a good time to meditate this month. I feel that you need to make time to meditate because there is going to be some important messages coming to you and you will feel your spirit guides, your angels, your loved ones around you more clearly. And then you've got illumination and I feel that there's going to be some truth, some inspiration coming to the surface. I feel that Many of you have felt a bit lost this year, even though you are making steady progress and movement in your life. You've been, you've been feeling this sense of being stuck, feeling like things are not moving for you. And I feel that there is going to be some truth, some clarity coming for you soon. I feel that you are going to feel more clear about your goals this month. And if there's something that's been on your mind that you've been worrying about, so I feel like there's going to be some truth coming to the surface. Because many of you have felt stuck um, because they, because you're not clear on something, because you don't know the whole, you don't, because you don't know the truth of the situation and it's stopping you from moving forward. I feel that there could be someone in your life who is not, not being honest. I feel this person is very wishy-washy and they're being dishonest with you and they don't always mean what they say and it's difficult for you to move forward because you don't have that clarity and so I feel that this person I feel like you will receive some clarity or truth from this person during September and if there is a situation that's on your mind as well that you're worrying about I feel like there's some clarity coming through particularly with finances because I keep feeling there's a strong emphasis on finances this month so I feel that if there's a money situation that's been worrying you or you've been feeling a bit uncertain about finances I feel like there's some information or there's some clarity that's coming through for you in September that's helping you feel better it's difficult for you to make big purchases or make big decisions this month because there's some unclarity about or uncertainty about finances but I feel like there's going to be some some more stability and some more clarity during September. Okay, so now look at your crystal for the month ahead for September. And the crystal you've got for the month ahead is pyrite. And this is a very grounding stone. It's also connected to abundance and wisdom. And with pyrite, you are guided to you are being guided to ground yourself more you're being guided to go into nature ground yourself because there's a lot of movement this month so it is important that you create time to feel centered i feel that your confidence is going to be improving this month as well there's going to be less obstacles in your path and you're going to be feeling more confident about the future which will boost your self-esteem also, you are being guided to use affirmations as well. Use like things like, I am confident, I am enough. And repeating these affirmations to yourself, this will help you with feeling more confident and feeling more assertive. Spirit are guiding you to be more assertive this month. They are guiding you to trust yourself, trust your intuition, because I feel that you are quite hesitant about making decisions at the moment. And I feel that information is coming to you, clarity is coming to you. You've feel a bit more stable and it's time to make decisions now you need to trust yourself and also with negative people around you as well you need to trust how you feel trust your intuition about this situation thank you for watching pal one hello pal two with a ten of wands here i feel that as you're going into september quite burdened you're feeling pressured um, i feel like you're carrying some anxiety into this month because I feel that recently things haven't gone to plan for you and so you might be feeling a bit disappointed or stressed out as you go into September and I feel the start of September there's still this energy around but as the month goes on I feel that you'll become more focused and you're feeling more positive. Spirit are guiding you not to take on so much this month, they're guiding you not to burden yourself because you're already maybe feel under pressure you may already have a lot going on so they're guiding you not to 
schedule too much in. This the guys need to try and keep things simple, stick to the plans that you have, and you will see more progress this month. I feel that it is important that you don't um, burden yourself too much. Also, I feel it's important to say no this month as well because I feel that there are going to be people who will try to put pressure on you to do things for them. I see other people asking you for favours this month. Be sure you value yourself and your own needs and don't take on more than you can handle. I also feel that there could be some disappointment this month. I feel that there could be someone in your life who you put in too much trust in. I feel there's someone around you who may disappoint you. They may promise a lot but they can't deliver what they promise and I feel that you need to be realistic in this situation. And Spirit are guiding you not to drop everything for this person. They're guiding you to trust your intuition. Because I feel like this person is showing signs of being unreliable. So make sure that you listen to your intuition in this situation. I feel there's going to be some waiting around this month as well. You're waiting on other people, waiting on plans. And Spirit are guiding you to try and get on with things as much as you can by yourself. I feel like you need to be more independent this month because there could be some one or more than one person that lets you down. I feel that there could be some disappointments but I'm also seeing that there's a lot of potential for positive growth as well this month and I feel like you can get a lot more done on your own by focusing on things. I feel there's going to be some good news coming for you this month as well because um, I feel that the I feel the first couple of weeks, the first half of this month is a bit unstable but I feel as the month goes on you're starting to feel more stable again and there will be some positive news. At the moment you're feeling a bit lost or a bit stuck but I feel that um, later in the month you are going to get this positive news which will make you feel more reassured. I feel that there will be some information, positive information coming to you because if you're waiting for clarity or results I feel like there will be some good results coming to you or they will be more truth or understanding coming to you during September. I also feel there's more options coming available. I feel this is a good time for manifestation as well. Spirit again, you need to get very clear on your goals, what you want to bring into your life. I feel that um, if you are clear about your goals and if you feel that you are worthy of receiving, I feel that you are going to attract what you need because I am seeing something positive manifest in your life but I, I feel like you are creating this through your visualizations through your intentions and again the queen of swords this is this card can be linked to your thoughts and I and spread again you need to keep your thoughts positive be aware of what where you're focusing your energy on and what your and um, where your thoughts go in um, I also feel that there is going to be some clarity and there's improvement in communication in your own communication and with people around you you are starting to get results and to get information which will help you make decisions going forward and I feel like there are a couple of people in your life that you need to be more assertive with and you need to speak to properly because I feel like there's a lot on your mind at the moment and you need to get these thoughts out you need to get these feelings off your chest and by communicating from your heart you are going to get a positive re response. I feel that they may be a difficult situation for you to deal with during the month ahead but I feel that by being confident, by being assertive, by speaking your truth you will be able to get the results that you want. I feel like you need to be more focused, you need to get rid of distractions this month and focus your energy and you will be able to get things done because recently you've had a lot of distractions I feel during the last couple of months it's been difficult for you to get things done and you haven't felt very motivated but during the second half of September I feel like your energy has become more focused and you are able to start getting things done and spirits are guiding you to cut down on things, they're guiding you to simplify your life and this will help you with being more productive I feel like there's less things going on in September but you're getting but you're more productive, you're seeing more better you're seeing better results. I feel that um they show me the throat chakra again and I I feel there's a situation this month where you need to be more assertive because there is someone who isn't taking you seriously 
and I feel that by being assertive with this person you will be able to achieve positive results. I feel like there's this lesson for you in being more assertive and by believing in yourself. I am seeing a, a situation improving of finances. I feel there's a lot of potential for you to get more on track with your finances this month and I, but I feel like you need to be assertive with this. You need to be very assertive on what you spend your money on and what you focus on. I feel there's a lot of potential for healing for you during September. Um, Spiritual guide, you need to release your emotions because I feel there's a lot of frustration that's buried below the surface. You're feeling quite anxious, frustrated, some sadness as well during the last couple of months. I feel the last couple of months have had a lot of challenges for you and I feel there's time to release these emotions. If you are in the Northern Hemisphere, you're going into the autumn season and so this season is about letting go, so I feel this is a good time for you to um, release these emotions and cut cords, let go of what you no longer need. And if you are in the Southern Hemisphere, you've got this time of new beginnings, so I also feel this is a good time as well for you to let go, for you to write positive intentions, think, plan ahead and release these emotions so you can move on to the next stage of your life. I also feel that forgiveness is important as well, if not just forgiving others but forgiving yourself as well because I feel that you put a lot of pressure on yourself. You have been um, overworking, putting too much stress, too much pressure on yourself recently, you've been trying to juggle too much and I feel that you just need to give yourself time to, to let go, to be present and to forgive yourself because I feel that um, a lot of you are perfectionists and you do find it difficult to let go and I feel like you forgive yourself for what you were not able to do because I feel there's a lot of self-blame. Also I feel that there may be people in your life who have upset you recently or have caused stress for you that you need to forgive so that you, you can gain the strength to move forward because by holding on to this blame is keeping you stuck at the moment and you want to make the most of his energies going forward. You've got Aries as well and Aries is a sign of new beginnings, new starts, it's, a, um, it's got a very, Aries is a very fiery energy and so I feel that this is like you letting go in order for new starts to begin. I feel there needs to be emotions Emotions need to be released in order for you to move forward because there's a lot of potential for new beginnings. Um, as the month goes on you'll start to feel more productive and you will feel more motivated to work towards new projects. Also Spirit is saying to be bold. They're saying to be proud of who you are, be bold. You felt more w withdrawn recently but I feel that now it's time to, to, be, to be bold and to go after your dreams. I feel that there's a need to be more assertive as well. There's people in your life that have been taking advantage of you. You need to be more assertive with them. You've got the opportunity card here. So there are going to be some new starts and opportunities for positive changes in your life. Um, Spirit again, you to be open to the new possibilities. Try not to get too caught up in your head, try not to overthink things. I feel that you need to work on healing yourself, because you've got this card here, Universal Healing. So you need to work on healing yourself so you can, um, so you can, so you know your worth, so you open up to new opportunities. I feel that there is a lot of potential for healing and for letting go of the past. I feel there's this energy of, of letting go. I feel that some of you are reluctant to, towards making change, you're a bit, you, your energy is a bit stuck. So I feel there's a need for creating an initiative to stop overthinking, to get out of your head and start taking action because I feel that um, at the moment there's been a stuck energy and I feel as you go into October there's more movement in your life. I feel that it's time now to to let go is a, is a transition period, it's time to let go, to heal, to start thinking ahead, planning ahead. I feel there's going to be more movement for you in October. 
I'm going to use the crystal cards for you for September. So the crystal for you to work with this month is clear quartz and clear quartz I've got one here. Clear quartz is a crystal of protection. It's also a very powerful cleanser and healer. Um, we can use this crystal to protect our energy. It, we can protect ourselves from negative energy and let go of negative energy. So there is this real focus on cleansing this month and letting go. And you can work with the clear quartz to help you to do this. Carry this clear quartz with you. Um, you may want to use it to clear your aura, moving it around your aura to help you clear the energy. Um, you, also, you can also use clear quartz in different areas of your home. You can use it um, around your home to help you cleanse your home. I'm seeing a lot of emotions coming onto the surface this month and I feel that there is a need to, to let go of these emotions. There's, there's going to be some challenges this month but I feel that it, it feels like there's an ending. You come, you're you starting to come to an end of a cycle and there's something new beginning. And so it's time to wrap up, it's time to release, heal in order to move forward. Also, Spirit will guide you to practice gratitude this month because when we are practicing a regular routine of gratitude, we become more aware of the blessings that we have around us and it helps us with attracting more abundance into our lives. Thank you for watching, Pal 2. Hello, Pal 3. As you enter September, I feel that you have a lot of indecision around you and you've got this feeling of being stuck, of just feeling a bit lost, a bit stuck at the moment. And you are very difficult to progress and to move forward because you've got this indecision. And I feel that there is a lack of clarity, a lack of communication around you and Spirit is saying that some of this is due to your own fear, due to your own anxiety because I feel that there is going to be opportunities to make changes this month but I feel that there is some anxiety around decisions during September. Spirit is guiding you to value your needs more because I feel that you may be sacrificing too much of, of your needs in order to help other people or in order to please other people because so I feel that there are some people around you who are burdening you who put in too much on you so you need to be more assertive and to value yourself and your needs more. I feel that you've got more choice than you think you have. There, there is a lot more opportunity and more choice around you um, but I feel that your anxiety, your fear is is um, clouding your vision at the moment because I just I have this vision of cloud around you of not knowing where you're going feeling a bit lost but I do feel that as the month goes on that there's more progression that you're able to see more clearly as you can see on this card she's got the blindfold on and I feel this is how you're feeling at the moment um, you are feeling a bit lost but as the month goes on there's more movement because we've got the the Emperor which is about taking charge the Emperor is confident and you've got the Knight of Wands who's, who's signifying quick movement He's, the Knight of Wands gets gets things done and so I feel that there is that you are going to come into your power more as the month goes on but you need to to be assertive and to let go of that fear I feel that home life is important this month. I feel it's important to get things into order in your home and I feel that many of you will feel more drawn to spending more time in the home. I feel that you want to try and recharge your energy this month. You're not feeling as productive as usual. There's a need to go within to, to recharge your energy and to get things sorted in your home, get things, get personal matters sorted. And I feel as you take this time to sort out these problems, these personal matters, you will feel more organised by the end of the month because I feel there's this feeling of anxiety, you're feeling lost at the moment, but by the end of this month you're feeling more stable, more grounded, more reassured because you've got things done. 
I also feel that writing things down is important. I feel that there will be lots of decisions and there will be information and things to compare to make a decision on. So I feel that it's important to take note, to consider things carefully and to talk to people that you trust. As a guide, you need to ask for advice from knowledgeable people around you, particularly when it's related to the home, to financial matters. And I feel that there will be some important issues that you're dealing with that's, that's um, relating to these areas. And by asking, I feel that it's important that you get proper advice to make sure that you're talking to an expert over these, these decisions. As the month goes on, I am seeing more energy again, more motivation. I feel like you need some time during the first half of September, you need some time to recharge um, and to sort things out. I feel towards the end of September, there's more movement. You're starting to feel more rested. I feel as, as you go into October then, you've got this motivation, inspiration to take on new challenges and you're ready to make changes. Spread to saying don't jump into decisions because I feel it is important that you get advice and you reflect. Spread has shown me the sacral chakra, which is the um, the orange chakra, and I feel this chakra needs some healing at this time. I feel that um, as you work on healing the chakra, you will get energy, you will find yourself being recharged and feeling inspired. I feel that for many of you, the chakra will need some recharging this month. Spread to draw me towards a lion in this card and I feel that you are being guided to to be bold, to have courage in yourself this month because I feel that you're doubting your abilities. You are far more capable than you think you are. I feel there's a lot of responsibilities for you to take care of this month but you are you're doubting yourself too much and I feel that you can handle this. There is a lot for you to take care of but you're more than capable and just remind yourself of the end result, remind yourself of why you're doing this. As you see things coming together in different areas of your life, you'll start to feel more confident and more stable. We've got Aries and the third house. We've got Aries here and Aries is um, connected to fast movement, impulsivity, assertiveness. Aries is the leader, Aries is confident and you are being guided to be more assertive this month, to, to take charge. I feel that you will get things done by being more assertive. So you've got Aries next to the third house and the third house is connected to communication and speech thoughts and so you are being guided to be clear in your communication and to be assertive because you will be able to make a lot of progress, make a lot of important changes in different areas of your life because I feel that there is going to be this examination of your life. You are going to be looking at different areas of your life and how you can improve or change these areas of your life. And so it is important you've got clear communication and you are asserting, yourse asserting yourself and you are being clear with your communication in order to get clear communication in return in order to understand what's happening. I feel that there is going to be some important meetings this month. So this could be work meetings, it could be meetings with friends, it could be meetings with it could be any area of your life where there's important meetings and you're discussing imp um, important matters like you have got to be assertive in these situations to, to to get the result that you want because i feel that there are there is a situation in your life where you're not feeling clear there's someone in your life that's not communicating to you clearly and you need to be assertive in order to get these answers I feel that there is someone around you that has taken advantage. This could be a friend, this could be a family member, or this could be someone that you're dealing with professionally, but there's someone who is is taking advantage and they're not being honest with you and you need to be confident, you need to be assertive in order to get the answers and the results that you need. Oops. <clears throat> I've got the higher self. So the higher self is that part of our soul that's outside the body, that's wise, that helps us with um, progressing in our lives, it gives us wisdom and you are being guided to connect with your higher self because I feel that you are in need of some wisdom, um, I feel that many of you are 
are in search of your purpose and you are trying to get a deeper meaning of your life and you are being guided to connect to your higher self and also with practical matters in your life as well because I feel that you're not trusting yourself enough your higher self is wise and is not affected by ego and by connecting with this version of yourself in meditation you will be able to receive wisdom and guidance you are being guided to listen to your intuition more because I feel that there, are, there may be some people around you who are not being honest and it's going to be difficult for you, it may be challenging for you this month to find out who has been honest and who isn't, who's giving you good advice and who isn't so you are being guided to listen to your intuition on this You've got the lion. The lion is symbolising strength, courage, and you are being, and Spirit is saying you've got the strength and courage within you. You are being guided to work with the lion's energy, so you may want to connect to the lion in meditation. You may want to call on the lion spirit guide. You may want to call on the lion's energy to, to help you. Um, but Spirit is saying that you have a lot more courage in you than you think, and you there will be a lot of challenges for you to deal with this month but you've got the ability to to work through these and um, i feel that you are going through these challenges in order to find your courage in order to stand in your power sometimes we have to go through harsh lessons to help us learn something valuable so i feel this is what is happening now your crystal i'm just i'm going to choose your crystal now for the month ahead which crystal energy should be working with this month to help you you've got lapis lazuli so lapis lazuli is connected to the third eye and it's a very wise crystal it's, it brings through wisdom it helps that we're connected to our intuition it's this crystal is connected to the ancient egyptians and it helps us to bring out leadership qualities and also trust in our intuition. The Spirit has shown me that you have got these abilities within you to take charge of your life and, and to be confident. You just need to have faith in yourself. And through listening to your intuition, you will be able to, you will be guided towards the right decisions for you this month. And I feel that you are going to be, you are going to receive the wisdom that you need to get you through this time you will find that you are attracting people into your life who are very wise and there will also be people who are being dishonest but this is a test for you to trust your intuition because you will be you will feel guided towards the right people the people who have wisdom that, that can help you if you have this crystal by working with this crystal and meditating with it it will help you with connect into deep wisdom it will help you with finding wisdom within yourself thank you for watching pile three